What's up everybody, it's Vicious here. And I woke up to um, basically Rufal Monger. He had basically talked about the whole roster of DNF Duel being leaked through a PSN description, which I don't know which PSN was used. I, I tried to, you know, use my American PS app. I tried to use my Hong Kong PS app, which a lot of times gets like uh, games that are for Japan, for China, and Korea, and I could not get DNF Duel to pop up. But it could be the app, the app and the actual store from the console sometimes yield different results. Like, for instance, I remember in the past uh, when KOF 14 was in beta, actually. Um, or they had a demo for KLF 14, actually, I should say. Uh, I could not find it on the PS store for most of the day. And, you know, I looked on my phone and I found it and it still wasn't on the PS store. So, you know, sometimes it gets a little mixed up. But, um, a little hot topic here for DNF Duel. So, the outliers here, we've talked about everybody else on this list that you see in front of you. But... It seems like Swiftmaster is listed as a character that should be on the game. Uh, troubleshooter, we knew that. Um, then we have Launcher and an unlockable hidden character. Unlockable hidden character, more than likely, is the boss, you know. And I think I've talked about that before. I think um, I talked about how Arxis likes to have characters that aren't really a part of the main cast, like Android 21 on Dragon Ball Fighters. Like, that's one example. Um, they like to add some characters in there. So I'm sure that's what the hidden character is, the boss that's on the case. Um, Enchantress, we knew about that. Um, Launcher is the one that I'm mainly confused about because if you guys notice, and I'll, I'll bring up a graphic here in a second, even though I'm on my phone. One second. If you guys notice, um, I talked about it before, the character that they've shown off cannot be launcher just simply because of the way she's designed and the way she's designed is she wears glasses um the one that we saw wore glasses let me go to mechanics so we have like a better visual representation so the one that we saw wears glasses and she has the goggles on her head and she has the sleeves right she has the sleeves that don't connect to you know uh the shoulder part of her outfit right so that should be the mechanic. We even see her chatting on a device that seemed very technological. She's the scientist of all of the um, female mechanic variations, right? So, yeah, look right there. Well, okay, so that's not the same thing that she was chatting on on the trailer. But, you know, same mannerisms as the mechanic. And Launcher... I do know that on the case of DNF Duel, um, I'm not going to go back and look at that just because I'm, you know, not on my computer right now. And it's a little bit difficult. Don't want to keep hitting pause and shit. Um, on the case of DNF Duel, the gunner that we see is holding a launcher like this, a laser cannon. I don't know if this is a common thing between the two um, because, like, there are some common moves between the, the characters the different advancements of the characters. But I don't remember this being a common move. I was thinking that they were going to give her a grenade launcher and a laser because um, maybe it might be too hard to work the machines into her move set by the way that DNF Duel is set up. So they give her some tools from another class maybe. But if she's full bloom launcher, why didn't they just go with this design? Because to me, it just doesn't make sense to, you know, have the mechanic and I'm sorry, have the mechanic design when honestly, I think this is better. She has the armor around her arm. Um, the outfit is a bit darker. It's a bit longer. She has the wild hair in the back instead of the bun. I don't understand why they do that. And honestly, I would be confused as like a Dungeon Fighter Online fan. You know what I mean? And I am a Dungeon Fighter Online fan, so I'm confused why they chose the mechanic design for that. Um, if it turns out that it is a launcher, 
uh, then great because I do want the launcher in the game. Launcher is my favorite, if you guys remember. Out of all of the uh, female gunners, launcher is my favorite and Spitfire is my second favorite. So I'd be very happy with launcher. But I am a bit confused. Like, what? why did they do that? We see that this is the outfit of the mechanic. Are they not planning on doing DLC? Because that's a, that's another thing. What would the mechanic look like? Are they going to make the mechanic look like this? Will the next female gunner be a mechanic? Will the male gunner be a mechanic? I There's so many questions here, you know? And I'm starting to get a little bit more clarity as the night goes on. Like, maybe they're going to combine those two into one class and it'll leave room for the Spitfire, the the male gunner to be Spitfire and a uh, mechanic too. I don't know. I have no clue. What do you guys think? Because I am so confused. This is obviously the launcher. Whoops. And this is the mechanic. So I, I, I don't know. I'm so confused. 